I just get so nervous. I'm awkward on camera. I don't like the way that I look or sound. If this is you, I'm gonna give you five ways you can embrace being on camera. And at the end, I will give you an exercise so you can improve even more. The importance of being on camera as a business owner is huge because video is king. You may think as a business owner, you don't wanna be on camera, but this is the total opposite. You're seen as more authentic, you establish a personal connection with your audience, and your audience will engage with you that much more. What I mean by building your audience is increased engagement, which leads to more leads and obviously more sales, which helps you get to your goals that much faster. Tip number one, be your authentic self. Stop trying to be this professional who never messes up on anything that they ever say. You come off as stiff and robotic, and we have human Humans have evolved to understand which emotions are real and which ones are fake. When a human can detect inauthenticity, they usually don't connect to the person who is speaking, which is why a lot of people tune out when some people talk. Talk as if you were talking to another human being. Use your hands, loosen up right before you record, and don't be so adamant about getting every single word right in your script. It's always better to just be yourself, no matter how awkward or embarrassing it may seem. It's far worse to be embarrassed by something that you're not. Tip number two, be confident in everything that you do on camera. This tip is one of those mindset shifts. You tell yourself what you actually are. So if you tell yourself I'm not good on camera, guess what, you're not gonna be good on camera. The mindset that you need to have is, I am really good on camera at being myself. I will talk confidently into the camera, I know exactly what I'm going to say, and I will speak directly into camera as confidently as I've talked to any one of my friends. A lot of people think that confidence comes from speaking very fast on camera, being very quick-witted. This is actually the opposite of the case. You actually seem more confident when you gather your thoughts, take a silence, and speak confidently into the camera whatever you're going to say. Most people don't have the confidence to say what they want to say because they're thinking about what they're going to say. Don't think about what you're going to say. Think about how you want to communicate what you're going to say. For example, if you were to ask me what confidence is, I wouldn't think about the definition of confidence. I would actually think about the question, take a moment, and then look directly into camera and confidently say that confidence comes from within you. It cannot be granted from something or someone else. It is a mindset shift. And once you say you're confident, that confidence will then shine through on camera. Like that. That one's going in. And to be even more confident, you can use tip number three, which is be prepared. In order to be prepared, you have to know and understand what you're actually talking about. This does not mean no word for word exactly what you're going to say. If you're not a professional, it will come off a little unnatural. So what I suggest is understand the topic that you're talking about. I suggest an outline, or if you have talking points, study those notes. This gives you flexibility and you don't have to remember anything verbatim. However, if you have a script and you need to use that script, what I would suggest to do first is understand what you're saying and then go word for word. That way you understand what you want to communicate. Think of it as taking a test. When you study for a test, you're that much more confident, you're way less stressed, and you achieve a better result. The second part that comes with being prepared is being on time. Do not rush the process and understanding that everything will be okay, which leads into the very next point. But if you're enjoying the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this content. Tip number four, there will always be imperfection. Nobody is perfect. Nobody ever has been perfect. Nobody ever will be perfect. So stop trying to thrust those expectations on your situation. Done is better than perfect. And sometimes you may think perfect is this absolutely amazing thing, but when you do this all the time, it is actually really bad for your health and bad for your sanity. When you start getting in this perfectionist mindset, you tend to overthink any and everything. And basic thing, it's not rocket science. You literally communicate every single day. And sometimes you do it without even realizing. So just do it. Honestly, I get into a perfectionist mindset sometimes. And what helps me is under understanding my non-negotiable. For example, one of my non-negotiables is getting clear audio. And for you, that might be different. It might be the lighting. It might be the backdrop. It might be uh, looking comfortable on camera. Also, what helps me is understanding that something will go wrong and I have to be okay with that. And finally, practice, practice, practice. Talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice.
As cliche as it sounds, practice is the only way to get better. The best way to build a muscle is to work out and to do it consistently. Practice inevitably comes with failure. And trust me, the failures make you so much better. Being in front of the camera is an art, which is why actors, entertainers, and personalities make so much money doing. Once you practice enough, you start to understand your eye line. You start to understand how much movement is enough movement, or is it too distracting, or how to play towards the camera. And piggybacking off of tip number five, here's an exercise you can use to not only be comfortable being on camera, but to speak confidently as well. Get out your phone and then go to the camera app and hit record on a video. You wanna turn the camera around so you can't see yourself in selfie mode. This will be distracting because you'll be tempted to look at yourself in the selfie instead of looking at the camera. So you only wanna see camera lenses. And what I want you to do is speak into the camera about your day or what you want to do or accomplish in the day and speak about it for three to five Five minutes and you can put a timer on this as well and the catch is you have to talk continuously and you cannot start over you will see drastic improvements if you do this consistently for one to two weeks and then you can compare the first time you did it to the last time you did it just to recap you want to be your authentic self be confident be prepared know that there will be imperfections and practice 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 doing these tips and using the exercise of recording yourself will help you build a personal connection and build your audience effortlessly if you found anything valuable or learned anything about being more comfortable on camera leave a like subscribe and comment about how your journey with being comfortable on camera is going but until next time keep harnessing the power of video